lashes. Can't find it. I guess we'll just have to use this one. And it'll work. Is your hair always this tangled? Must be hard. But don't worry. I came prepared. This spray shall come to your rescue. This is originally for horses, I think. You see this? <laughs> but I have to admit, I use it on myself much more than I use it on sugars. So, the smell is nice and pleasant. Say the tangler. The tangler is a not solution. It's the best the tangler I've, I've ever used. So, this will work good for you. spray because it keeps your hair quite straight for the rest of the day. If you get any tangles later on, just brush it through your fingers and voila, it gets untangled right away. It's funny. Do you remember when we were little we used to play as if we were at a hair salon all the time? Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I was always the client. You would put your mother's rollers in my hair and then proceed to blow dry it and then curl it right after. I don't know how my hair was to such damage back then. hair instead of listening to Miss Gray back in like first grade. You had such long hair back then. I mean it's still long but it was really long back then. It kind of reminded me of Rapunzel. I learned how to braid from braiding my hair all the time because back then I thought you only needed you know two strands of hair to make a braid instead of three. I used to practice on my Barbie dolls at home so I could, you know, perfect it back at school. slips from Miss Gray saying that I wasn't paying attention to her in class. I mean, I was a bad student if I think about it, but to be honest, I think Mrs. Gray hated us. I think she did. Oh, I have so 
so many good memories back at Greenfield Elementary School. I know. And I had to go to a new school the next year. I was so sad. I remember when we went crazy and started like bawling the whole day, the last day of school, because we thought we weren't ever going to see each other again, as if our dads aren't best friends. <laughs> I know. It never registered to us that this wasn't goodbye, but I don't know, it's different when you don't get to see a friend every day at school. It's just not the same. We were really young back then. Oh my goodness, don't even talk about it. Rosewood could not ever compare with Greenfield. Even till this day, I honestly felt like I was being monitored all the time back then. I was seven years old when I started going there, but all the teachers were like hawks. They were, they were intense. The classes were really small, so I couldn't even talk to anyone without getting caught. It was too much to go through as a young girl. It felt like boarding school. And every time I got a disciplinary note, my mom would get really mad at me because they always handed you like a small blue paper that your parents had to sign and you had to bring back the next day. And my mom got so mad every time I brought that. I brought, <laughs> I brought those notes like at least four to five times a month. And she'll say stuff like, your father and I don't pay $11,000 for you to just talk at school. But I was, I was seven, seven years old. But I still remember what I told my mom back then. I said, it's only $11,000. I was such a snob. I mean, everyone there expected all the kids to act like many adults, yet at the same time, they assumed that me and all the other, other kids who got in trouble often were beyond saving. So, talk about being hypocrites. She was providing the best for me back then. And plus, my grandma was a really strict mother when my mom was young. So, it's practically all she knew. I just always happened to be on my best favor, my utmost best behavior when I was with you. But like, duh, of course, I was with my best friend. And once you let kids act like kids, they will behave. I don't know. At that time, I was always put on a tight leash. That's why it's weird, because when I was in Greenfield Elementary, even though I had a hard time back then, those were like my best memories. Being there, the teachers, the staff, you, and Priscilla and Miranda, I still remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really fun. Oh gosh. No, I'll never, I'll never ever let my kids go to a private school, at least not an elementary school, like, there's no need. Or definitely not Rosewood, that's what I'm saying.
loose hair. Alright. Your hair is looking so pretty right now. Do you wanna Do you wanna try on the earrings? hair color but I can see why you want to stop dyeing it now. It gets dry doesn't it? You should use my hair mask. I'll lend it to you. I don't know if it'll help as much but it'll be better than nothing. This bag is for the jewelry I don't wear too often. Yes, it's this one. How about these black ones? Black. Not entirely black, but sparkly. Moon and stars. It still contrasts very nice with your hair. So if you want something a bit more discreet than this, if not, you can wear this. Or, you know what, I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to put on all the other ones that I have. Because you never know. And all my earrings now makes me realize how I don't wear any of these. That's bad, I know. Because I always buy them in the moment and then I stop wearing them or just forget they exist. It's a bad habit. really good in, in like jeans, casual outfit. This pink flower. It's very light. So, much lighter than this one, but with hoops. Mm, I don't think I've ever pink ones. I don't really buy a lot of color earrings. The next color ones will be I was 
also could work very well in a casual outfit. Mm -hmm. Butterflies. I mean, I don't even know why I bought a butterfly earrings. I hate butterflies, but I don't know. I don't know why, but they gave me the grapes. I mean, they're supposed to be beautiful insects. And I remember back in second grade, we even took care of a butterfly for a project, but oof. I hated it even back then. Um, another flower-like earring. Uh, more on the formal, elegant side. But you can kind of hide them in your hair and they won't pop out as much. Um, got another flower. more casual stuff. Dun, dun, dun. This. Yeah. Oh, it's good on a one half, doesn't it? Ooh. Okay. Uh, I'm making such a mess. <gasps> or, you know that white dress you got? bangle or something. You look fabulous in these. Casual one. Oh, how about hearts? You like hearts, right? I'm just letting these tangle in a bag. I need to be more careful. Uh, earrings right here. This one is so cool because it's different. It has a different style. Do you want, like, you could use this long hard earring on your left and then this one on your right. Mm -hmm. This actually looks really nice. The gold contrasts as well with your blonde. Yeah. I do have more gold ones. They're in here somewhere. Oh, these one I got out of the dollar store. Mm -hmm. The one near your house. The one where Amy works at. I visit her often, so I got these star ones. I think I honestly wear these the most compared to all my other earrings. I don't know, I just tend to grab these most. Cool. This looks nice too. Actually, there's no style of earrings that does not match you. I'm jealous. I tend to buy extravagant earrings only to be insecure and not wear them at all. Or just earrings that don't suit my face shape. But I like it so I buy it. I know. Bad habit. Um, what else? Oh no, this is tangled. Oh my gosh. Tell me why I don't use the jewelry box my mom gave to me. I just always end up piling all of these in a box somewhere. How about this? Ribbons. I never wore these before. If you like them, you can have them. Mm -hmm. Gold ones. More gold ones. I feel like I've seen a lot of people wear this version, but in a necklace. I've never seen these as earrings. That's why when I saw them, I was like, I have to get it. I, mean, I don't even have the necklace version, but I'm an earring girl, so. Gold. 
More casual, yeah. Da da da. There we go. It's a bit heavy though, so if you don't like heavy earrings, then this might not be for you. Mm. Another gold one. Oh, this one's light. You'll like this one. It's a hoop with flowers. Honestly, this one I got the most compliments on. Like, even from guys. I don't know why, but I got the most compliments when I wore these. I don't know. I mean, they're pretty, but... I guess I just have other favorites. Yeah, this will look really good in a white tee and jean casual style outfit too. Got more gold ones. I'm checking. I guess this a ge geometric style. More. I don't think I ever wore these either. <laughs> I'm so bad. Or if you want that triangle on your left side, you could do that too. Yeah. Is that all my gold ones? I think so. Do you want to go look at the silver ones I have now? This one? This is more your style. I know. You like words on your clothing. You're so weird. <laughs> like everything you buy, it just has to have text on it. Um, oh, I think it's the other way. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is more like you. You can have these if you want. I don't really wear this often. I think I wore it once and twice, but it was alright. I bought it in a, a set. Um, oh my gosh, all of these are tangled and I'm so sorry. Ooh. What is this? Why is it tangled? Another bracelet. And these are star earrings. Once again, these are like the other ones, which is, it looks different for each year. This one has a long tail and this one doesn't. So, in whichever preference that you like. Mm -hmm. Da da da. These are um, plastic ones, but they look like little tiny chandeliers, don't they? They look much better on your ears than on display, but yeah. Da -da -da. This looks actually really nice on you. I have another pair of these, but you could take these if you want. And... Oh, this one I got complimented on not too long ago. They like cotton balls. You might put toner on it. <laughs> Works nice if you want something to pop around your front, my up top face area. <laughs> it kind of frames your face nicely. But my face is too round for this, so maybe I'll match you better. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you can make this on your own. Literally get a cotton ball and glue it to a chain. <laughs>
I'm wondering if I if I missed something. I know I have a lot of pins. These are actually really old. My sister gave this to me like over 10 years ago. But, I mean, they're still in good condition. They're not dangly. They're not long, like, in a style that I like, but it's still good. I can't give it away because, well, my sister gave it to me. Our small ones. These I really, I barely wear because they're small and it's just not to what I wear on the daily, but they could be more your style. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's actually really cute on you. Move your hair a bit. Okay. Mm, I should have a stopper for these. Where are they? I mean, you can use any stopper from any area. this one right here. Looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, I could try that too. This. These It's a mix of gold and silver, it seems. I just like earrings like this. It's simple, I could wear it casually, but at the same time, it's really bling and really curly. Hmm. letters we exchanged back, back then too. Like, we would write each other nearly every single day. I mean, I'm telling you this because I found my old diary yesterday and I kept talking about how much I wanted you to be in my class so I didn't feel alone and all of that. And how I, I decorated a shoebox. I remember I decorated like sparkle pink so I could fill it up with all your letters. And I said the words, keep out. I like bedazzled it. Keep out. Like as if my parents were actually curious what we were writing about as seven-year-olds. I can't believe we wasted stamps on letters that were only five lines long. Like that's such a waste of money if I think about it. <laughs> Just as I waste all this money buying these earrings I don't wear. Literally, one letter I still remember you sent me that time, you only <laughs> wrote the words, Essie is my bestie. <laughs> that was so cute. I was so happy when I read that. I still remember. It was like on a sunflower pattern paper. That's your favorite color is yellow. It was so cute. I want to find that letter again. I only... 
I only found my old diary. Essie is my Bessie. You don't even say that to me anymore. Oh my god, it's so cute. Do you want to try the hoops? I mean, I like hoops because hoops like this, so I don't have to worry about stoppers falling out. But, yeah. Just not like this. And then the other one. I think this white flower matches your outfit right now. White nearly matches everything, so. Okay, or this one to match your pink sweater. And this one has a stopper, unfortunately. It's not a, it's not a hoop. Right. Whoa. Vintage styles like this instead of your. I call it your punk grunge, <laughs> uh, out tween style. I mean, I honestly don't know what to call your style. Just a clothes that has a lot of words and text on it. And your ear holes, really. It really does not want earrings to go in. I could tell it's, it's been a lot of times since you wore earrings out. At least they didn't close all the way through. I'll be devastated if I had to put needles through my ears again. No. That's an absolute no for me. This one. I'll have to find the other pair. There it is. Okay. Goodbye, Pinky. Later. I mean, if you don't wear this one today, I want you to take it with you so you can wear it whenever you wear your pink outfit. are really thick, so my stoppers fall out easily. Because I remember I, when I was younger, my ears got infected, and so they're really sensitive to any kind of earring that comes in contact. And so I don't know if it's because of that reason that my earlobes just got a lot thicker than everyone else's, but that won't ever stop me from my love of earrings and my purchase of them. Oh my goodness. The 
this does not want to come out. frames your face well. <laughs> Do you want to wear that one? Yeah, sure. You can take it. Now I just have to put all of this back. Do you want to help me clean this? Oh gosh, where did I put the box my mom gave me? The only reason I haven't used it yet is because it's I mean, but if you want to help, I'm not opposed to that. Really? Yes. Okay. So I want you to take this. What is that I want you to take again? Okay. The chandelier ones. The chandelier. This one, the one I never wore before. The ribbon ones. Was it? Oh my gosh. I've been showing you some of my earrings I've lost. I've lost all thought. You should take the black ones too. I never mean, wanted to. Really like this as much as I want it to, but the model will have blonde hair like you and like duh, I don't have blonde hair, so it didn't look as good. But it looks so much better on you. I'm going to. Wait, let me put this on you. I really want to try black earrings on you. Do -do -do. this you're going to wear today. So I'm just going to put them in your hands. Here you go. But I really want to try this on you. They're hearts. You like hearts. Who doesn't like hearts? Like one, two, three, four. Four hearts. And another four hearts. So One must have blonde hair to wear this earring. You should wear this with like with like any black top. What's that? What's that black top you have that has the uh, a pin drawing on it. You should wear it with that. So, you're getting this. You may have the flower earrings on your hands. So take this. Take the ribbon one. And the chandelier one. These one do so. You should find an outfit to match this, but just dress casually. Yeah. 
but honestly, after putting on those black hearts, I don't think anything looks as good. <laughs> My humble opinion. Do I want to take these too? I mean, I'm not going to wear them. Why does it keep on turning? It's like this. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to wear these. Okay, I can take this. Do you want the butterfly ones too? <laughs> like I said, don't know why I bought these. I don't even like butterflies. Mm. Should I give it to you in a bag? Or do you want it in a box? I, mean, I don't want you to just carry all of this. Or just dump it in your bag. Um, I'll just give you this box because I have to. I mean, you said you said that we were going to organize my jewelry together, so I'll just dump everything out and just give you this box so you can. Um, for a reason and go. Alright. Your hair. Wait. Let me move your hair a bit. Then your earrings. Oh, it frames your face so well. Yes. Why didn't I give this to you sooner? What the heck? I'm such a bad friend. Do you want to go?